All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about two-factor authentication, specifically when it comes to requiring it so that your server moderators can actually use their moderator powers. So to find these options, you just got to go up to your server name in the upper left-hand corner of your Discord screen, hit the little arrow, and go to your server settings. Now down here under moderation, you'll see at the very bottom you can require two-factor authentication for your server moderators or else they can't use their moderator-specific powers. This is things like being able to kick, ban, or delete messages, and without having two-factor authentication enabled, they just won't be able to use any of those powers even if you give them to them. So why is this important? Well, it's really common to have a bunch of people constantly trying to break into people's Discord accounts so that they can use them to continuously spam more viruses and junk to other people on Discord. So two-factor authentication makes it very difficult for those people, even if they can infect your computer, to get access to your Discord account because they need access to your phone in order to break into the account and log in and try to send skeezy messages. So by enabling this, it requires your moderators to have that or else they just can't use their server moderator powers. That way, if someone compromises their account, they can't break into your server and start deleting things, banning people and causing damage. That's why it's important and it's a very useful feature to enable, especially if you have a very large community server with a lot of users and it's publicly available because you just put invite links out everywhere. So to enable this, all you have to do is literally click on the enable button. And if you yourself are using two-factor authentication, which you should, you can enter your authentication code from your authenticator on your phone here and then click enable and it should be enabled. And then you're good to go. Your server is increasingly protected and you can disable it at any time by simply clicking this button again. Instead of saying enable, it'll say disable and it'll be a big red button when you hover over it. Same deal, click it, enter your code, and you can disable that requirement. Generally, you probably don't need this if you have a smaller server, especially if you relatively trust your friends and you know they're pretty tech savvy, then I wouldn't worry about it, but definitely a must on a much larger server. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a look at how to enable a two-factor authentication requirement for your moderators on your server. And until next time, have a good one, everybody, and toodles.